Hello, welcome to Tabata. I'm Stacy. We're going to be doing about a 25 minute high intensity interval work. We're gonna bring our heart rates up and down and it's gonna be a good time. We're gonna start with a little bit of a warm up, gonna get after it, and then a little bit of cool down. So all in all, probably about 30 minutes of work, 35 minutes of work. All right, well, let's start with that fantastic warm up. I hope if you haven't done so already, you've got queued up some great music. I'm gonna listen to the music in my head. It's a great soundtrack. Awesome. All right, here we go. We're gonna start it with a strong march. This is a great place to start on a Monday. We got a little uh, stuff going on in the group X room, a little uh, work in the ceiling. So that's why all of our equipment has moved around and I'm in a little bit different spot today. It's good to go though. We're good to go. We're taking it up to those high knees or that high knee march in three, two, and one. It can be here. It can start being a little bit here. It can be a little bit in between. Nice work. Nice job. Looking good. Out of way. We're gonna have some nice attention and intention with our movement and our work today. We're gonna go to those butt kicks in four, three, two, and butt kick it. It can be more of a merch butt kick, backside kick, or it can be, it can be a little bit more intense. Hello, welcome to Group Box. We're just getting warmed up. We're doing some butt kicks. We're either at this intensity or we're bringing it up a little bit to this intensity. My name's Stacy. We're doing Tabata. It's gonna be a good time. We're gonna go to a skip in four, three, two, and skip it. Nice work. Here we go. We're gonna do that Tabata work today. We're gonna spend about 25 minutes working. We're getting our warm up finished up and then we'll have that cool down to finish. Here we go. Going back to that jog in four, three, two, and jog it. Nice job. Good, good, good. Get ready for that high intensity interval training that Tabata is. Everything is mostly body weight. Forgot to call out, we do need our exercise sliders. If you're at home, it will be maybe a towel on that wood floor or socked feet, or I'll give you mods if you don't have any exercise sliders. Here we go, high knees, three, two, and bring it up for high knees. Nice work. Looking good. It can be a high knee march as well. Get those arms going with you though. Nice work. Here we go. We're transitioning to butt kicks in four, three, two, 
and butt kick it. It can be here. It can be more of that march with that great attention and intention to that movement. Good work, good work. Nice job, nice job. Keeping it up. We're going to that skip in four, three, two, and skip it. Nice. Oh, we can't have any music on our side, but I hope you have some good tunes playing at home. Good work. We're getting that body temp warmed up. We're getting ready to roll. Very nice. All right, we got this skip for five, four, three, two, and one. Let's get a little inch of worm in. We're gonna start standing nice and tall. Arms are gonna be up. I'm gonna do a big hinge, forward fold. My legs don't have to stay straight. My knees can be bent. I'm gonna walk my hands out. Pause in that plank. Bring my left foot up in between those hands. I'm gonna come up into that deep lunge. Good. Back down, right arm comes up, twist to the right. Right hand comes down, left hand comes up, twist to the left. Good, back down, left foot comes back, walk those feet up towards the hands. Stand up tall. Let's do it again. Arms up, big forward fold. Walk it out nice and slow. High plank. Right foot comes forward in between those hands. Up nice and tall in that lunge. Good. Back down. Let's bring that right arm up, twist to the right, back down, left arm up, twist to the left, back down. Foot comes back, and now walk it in. Boom. All right, let's get ready to Tabata. You can hear my froggy voice. It's just allergies, it's so lovely. It feels great. All right, our first two exercises. We're gonna use those exercise timers. I'm actually just gonna need one. <laughs> it's gonna be a side lunge. So right now my left leg is gonna stay stationary. It would help if I put it on the right side, right? Right, so it's gonna come out to that side lunge back up. So I could, Without the exercise slider, I can side lunge and back up. And I can kind of sweep it as I'm coming back over. But if you're on a tiled floor, wood floor, you can put that towel underneath and get that same effect as the exercise slider, okay? Our next exercise is gonna be our break dancer. We're gonna come down to the mat. I'm gonna start on my hands and knees position. Then I'm going to hover my knees off the floor. I'm going to twist and lift one arm back down to that hover position. Twist, lift off, back down to hover. So it's opposite arm, opposite leg. Always coming back to that hover position. All right, we got 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of active rest, which usually is our march or we're transitioning to our other exercise. All right, we got a 10 second countdown with our Tabata timer here in the facility. Oops, daisies. There we go, two and one. 
side lunge it. And back up. We're staying on that same leg. Good. That left leg's doing majority of the work. Right leg gets that kick out to the side and back up tall. Nice. All the way back up. Good. March it out. Next exercise is that break dancer. Here we go. Take it down. Get in that hover position. There we go. Kick with my left, raise with my right. Always coming back to hover. Good. You'll find one side feels a whole lot more comfortable than the other. Very good. March it out. Got that slider ready? Or just our side lunge. Here we go. Whoops. Other side. Other side. My mistake. Nice and tall at the finish. Here we go. Good. Big sink up tall. Nice. Very nice. We'll go back to that right side on our next round. Here we go. Bring it down to break dancer. Get it. Nice work. Back every time. It doesn't have to be a big range of motion. That's okay. Back up tall, marching it out, getting our slider ready. Two and one. Here we go. Right leg coming out to the side, left leg doing the majority of the work. Working those quads as well as our inner thighs, as well as getting our heart rate up. It's a lot, a lot going on, right? Very nice. We'll go back to that other side on the next round. Here we go, back down for break dancers. Get it. Hover, kick, lift, hover. Nice work, nice work. Out of way. March it up. Woo. Getting set. Here we go. And back up. Nice. Big reach. Big slide. Up tall to finish. Out of way to work. Out of way to work. Nice. I often think, is that our last one? It was. Not. We're back down from our papers. Of course, that's where we're going to finish. I think I have a case for Mondays. It's all right. This is our last exercise. Come back to hover. Kick. Come back to that hover. On it. Great job. Woo. I always love that first round of Tabata exercises. It's like, I got this. I can do this. And then by the fourth one, it's like, is this done yet? We've done this enough, right? We will. We will do it exactly enough. Next two exercises, we got our negative push-ups. I would love for everybody to be up on the feet. We get such a better feel throughout the body for the movement versus being on the knees. This is just the lowering aspect of the movement. So give it a go, try it out. And then if you still want that modification, bring it down to the knees, same thing. On our negatives, we're gonna be in that great push-up position. My elbows are gonna be pointing back, not out to the side. Keeping my shoulders away from my ears and I'm gonna lower as slow as I can, come down to the ground, come back up to the top. 
We're not doing a push up from that position. We're using our feet and our legs to get us back up to that start position. Okay, so we got that. Then we got our lunge jumps. So we're gonna start in that lunge position. Here, switch to the other side. Switch to the other side. It does not have to be highly explosive. It can be a little lower. It can get more explosive and then it can come back down. Whatever's gonna work best for you today. All right. We're gonna start with our negatives. Then we're gonna attack those lunge jumps, okay? We got 10 seconds. Let's get set in that push up. All the way up on our feet if you want to start it. And get there. Go. Elbows back, tight to the body. Bring it down. Get back up. As slow as you can. Get it, get it, get it. Woo. Keeping that full hand in contact with the ground. Nice job. Bring it back up tall. March it out. Doesn't matter which leg you want to start with on your lunges. You're going to go to both of them. Good. You might have a little bit of a travel. That's okay. Just make sure you're not going to run into anything, right? I can be here and I can have my foot come back to start and do reverse lunges for a little less intensity. Bringing it down. We have the negatives. Here we go. Shoulders away from the ears. Lower, lower, lower. Woo. I always want to try to pick my hand up off the back. Keep it glued, full hand. Here you go. Slow as you can get it. Elbows pointing straight back that whole time. Bring it up tall, march it out. Get in that lunge position and switch. I don't need that knee to come down to the floor. This doesn't even have to be a huge range of motion. It's all about that explosiveness. If you're there for intensity and making that switch, nice work. Bringing it back down. Here we go, here we go. Elbows tight to the body, pointing straight back. Whatever you got. Remember your breath throughout. Bring it up tall. Those are killer. Really good for us. Let's get it set and launch and switch. Or it can be that quick step to reverse. Or it can be full. Nice work. Getting it done. Three, two, and one. We got one more of each. You got this. Bring it down. Push up position. Here you go, here you go. Whatever you got. Back up top. Remember your breath. Nice. There you go. I see you, I feel you. I feel that good energy. Jumping it in that lunge position. Nice. Whatever you got, whatever you got. For five, three, two, and one. Nice work. Oh, we're, we're still marching. Got a little ahead of the break. Now we're gonna go to our next exercises.
We got it. Hamstring curls using our exercise sliders. Let's grab both of them because maybe you want both of them. This is where those towels could come back into play. I'll also give you a mod if you don't have any sliders with you. And we'll still get some great handiwork. All right. My heels are going to be on those exercise sliders or my towels. Get a bridge up tall. I'm going to extend one leg, curl it back, extend the other leg, curl it back. Okay. Or I extend both legs, curl them back. And your handies will talk to you when you do that. And that's okay. That's you can go up and down in those intensity levels for sure. If we don't have sliders, you're up in that first position. I want you to kick one foot out, bring it back in, but those hips are gonna stay up the whole time. Back up. Okay, that's your mod. We really can't do that one with two feet, and that's okay. That's our first exercise, hand curls. Next one, we're gonna come back to that plank position. I'm gonna come out wide with my feet on the outside of my hands, back to plank, up outside wide. It can be this tempo. And then I can add a little bump to make it a little more intense, okay? Watch the transition from being in this position with our hand curls back to plank, we probably won't have time to march it in between, but if you do, watch that transition back to your standing position that you don't get lightheaded. That's not too quick. All right. We're going to start with those sliders. One at a time first, then two at a time if you're ready for it, if that's what's best for you. We got 10 seconds. Here we go, we're set in five, three, and one. Hips up, extending that out, curl it back in. Out, back in. Keeping those hips up. Nice work. Good. We're going to those fighter hands. This is going to get our heart rates up so we can up the intensity and lower the intensity. Here we go. Try to bring those feet out wide. Maybe it's not all the way up by your hands, but you're still getting there. You're still making that work happen. Here you go. Nice. Good work. Back to those hand curls, heels on the sliders. Here we go. Up, one, and back in. I'm not ready for those two feet today. <clears throat> I'm gonna keep it here. Nice work. Good. Really working those hammies. Tell them the business. The business is Tabata. <laughs> Here we go, back to Spideys. We're working that hip mobility if you're really going for that range of motion, which could be part of it. But if you're just looking to get that heart rate up, get that quickness, make it happen. Nice. Back down. Add a way to work. Good. Love that attention. Love that intention with your work. 
Remember your breath throughout. Good. Back up to Spidey's. Nice. Get those feet moving if you want that heart rate up a little higher. If you want that hip range motion, try and bring that foot up closer to the hands. Whichever is going to work best for your goal today for you. Nice. We got one more of each. Nice work, nice work. <clears throat> Hips are up. Great. Last spideys. Here you go, here you go. Three, two, and one. Ooh, I love it. You can bring it back up. We have one more set of exercises. One more set. <clears throat> okay, our last two, super fun. Great time. We're gonna be in that plank position again. Full hand on the mat, not rolling out to the side. So like your thumb and index finger come off the mat. Nope, everybody in contact. Shoulders away from the ears. I'm gonna bring my leg up and then it's just gonna come out to the side and back. Out to the side and back. We're going to stay on that same side. Bring it down in intensity by letting that foot rest each time. Come back down to start. Otherwise, let it hover and keep it out. If I'm going to do it for my knees, I can still be in that great position. Lovely plank. Leg comes up. And now I'm just going to come out to the side from here. Beautiful. Okay, our next exercise. We are gonna pretend, imagine that there is a little T on the ground in front of us, a little lowercase T. And we're gonna start in the lower right corner of that T or that four square. And we're gonna jump single leg hops in each square and then reverse it. So it will be clockwise, counterclockwise, all the work, the 20 minute or 20 seconds, 20 seconds of work, all on the same foot, okay? Your jump does not have to be big. In fact, if you're not gonna jump, that's okay. You're gonna do 20 seconds of balance. That's gonna be great too. You're gonna to keep that knee bent though. All right, we got that plank with the side leg raise, side leg sweep. I don't know, the technical term is abduction. That's what our leg is doing. It's fantastic. We're gonna start it off in 10. Let's bring it down to that plank position. Whichever starting position is going to work best for you. In two, and one, up, right leg. Working the whole time. Hips staying down. Not letting that hip come up. I don't want to be here. I want to be down here. Good. Shoulders over the wrist. Remember your breath. Nice. Let's come up tall. We're going to start on that left foot, clockwise, then counterclockwise. Here we go. 
Try to stick each time. Use that other foot as your kickstand if you need to. Good. Here we go, here we go. Nice. We're going to the other foot the next time. Back down to our plank. Left leg doing the work, doing the movement. Let's say right leg's doing a lot of work too. Nice work. Whatever you got. Up tall. Here we go. Right leg. It's either doing a single leg balance or we're doing a hop. It's not a big hop. We're just traveling in that four square. All the way around our little T. Nice. Back down to plank. Here we go. Nice work, nice work. Leg out to the side. Good. Here we go, back into that left foot for our hops. I'm gonna do single leg balance this time. A little bit of a bend in my knee, trying to fixate my gaze on one point. Nice work, making those adjustments. Out of way. Back down, leg raise, out to the side. Here we go. Forgot I haven't done on this intensity yet. I'm now on the knee. Leg coming out to the side. It's all good. Still great work. Pack up tall. We got right foot on our demo right leg balance. Single leg balance. And have that leg bed. Focusing on my breath. Trying to keep my eyes on the same point in front of me. Good. All about making those adjustments. Nice. That exercise is not about being perfect through the whole time. It's about adjusting to when you get that little bit of off balance. That's our 25 minutes of Tabata. Whew. All right, we're gonna get a little stretch in. Then we're gonna call it a day. Let's get those arms. We got some nice push-up work happening. Let's have arm come across the chest. Keeping my shoulder down. Breathe through your stretch. Nice inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Take that right arm overhead. Good. Out of the way. Bringing it down, left arm across the chest. I'm pulling behind the elbow. I'm never pulling directly on the joint. Breathing through my stretch. I just think of it as like three to five breath cycles. That way I'm not counting. I'm remembering to hold my, or to not hold my breath. Nice work. Let's bring that arm up behind. Gentle pull behind the elbow. Nice inhale and exhale. 
Very good. Bring it down from here. Let's do a little side body and side of the leg stretch. Coming across the left over the right. Right hip comes out to the side. Right arm comes up and over. Good, nice inhale, exhale. You can deepen that stretch. Good, other side. Left leg, nope. Right leg over the left. Left hip goes out to the side. Left arm can come over top. Nice inhale, exhale. You can deepen that stretch. Inhale and exhale. Good. Let's do a little stretch with the lower extremities in our nice seated position. Let's bring our legs out in front of us. Do a little point flex. Still maintaining my nice breath throughout. Go ahead and flex both those feet, sitting up nice and tall. Nice inhale, exhale. Slide those hands down the front of the shins, back nice and flat. I'm not rounding through my back. I'm nice and tall because I want this stretch in the back of my legs all the way up to my low back. Good, nice inhale and exhale. Good, let's bring legs out a little bit here. Nice inhale, I'm gonna come center. Gonna get a little tiny stretch to the inside of the legs. Inhale and exhale. Very good. Thank you so much for joining me for Tabata today. It's a beautiful Tabata Monday. I'll see you here tomorrow for some Core Express. Thank you again. My name is Stacy. If you guys haven't popped in, please come and see us at the Oracle Fitness Center. Things are open. It's great. It's good to see everybody back. Soon enough, we'll be doing all this in person too. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye.